Hi guys, this is Courtney. Okay, uh, today I'm going to do something a little different here. Um, let me go over here to the site here. This is uh, a website done by uh, one of our members, one of the members who has joined um, and gotten all of the is going through the training here, going through the 12 uh, modules that I have here within the course. And he had some problems, so he contacted me. Um, and so we've been kind of going back and forth. Uh, as with all of the emails I get from you guys, I respond to each and every one of them and give you guys suggestions if you get when you get stuck on stuff and kind of answer questions. And he, I'm going to actually go through the site here. We're going to do some some changes and fix up some things that um, our member uh, Tim uh, has had some some problems or questions with. And this isn't something I typically do, but I figured that this is a good training opportunity to, to go through and show you guys that anyone can build a website. Tim has actually done a good job here. As you can see, he's gone through and he's actually got a functional website uh, up and running. Now we have to clean up some things, but as you can see, just by going through the tutorial videos, he's been able to get, get this going here. Now he has some questions about um, Get, getting this area here in this widget area, this title, which is an H2 or, or, or H3 probably, uh, tag, getting this centered, this title, and of course for information, this will be all of the, these different um, titles here in this widget area. He has some problems getting those centered. Uh, we can see here we're on his home page here. He's done a menu. Uh, but you can see his home page is his About Us page, and as you can see up here on the top. Um, he also had a question about how to fix an area down here. Let me see if I can pull this. Where is that at? Okay, okay here we go. Um, so as you can see here on the bottom, the... Um, all of our um, disclaimer pages, testimonial page, privacy policy, all of the policy pages way down here. He wants these centered and um, I guess that's pretty much what he wanted on that. So we're going to work on that as well. And let me pull this back up here just for a second. Okay. Um, so we're going to work on these things and I'm going to do this in real time. We'll see if we can do this and this will probably be two videos. We'll see. Um, so Tim go, went ahead and, um, created an account for me so I could get in here and, um, and, um, fix some things up for him and show him as opposed to sending him an email on it, what's going on. I could also see here, but now that I'm in the dashboard that there's a problem here with his, um, security his bulletproof security looks like he went ahead and got that set up but it's not completely set up because you can see here we have some alerts um, now going back to the page here I can see uh, the problem that he was running into if we go back here to get here is that he had his page set up as a static page but he didn't select a uh, front page or post or anything and it'll default put it on your latest post here it will default to uh, your latest post page when you go up here and you back this off to just get his dot com he was getting a 404 error here and as you can see now we're getting the hello world and um, this theme here gives you some other options on some things you can do here. One thing I want to point out right away is that he is not using, uh, let me go over here to themes. He is using a, a premium theme, well, not a premium theme, but the rep responsive theme. And so he's not using the default theme that we used within the course. In the course, I use the 2010 theme and I show you how to go through and create everything. So some things will be different when you use a theme other than the default theme that we use. Actually, we tweaked the default theme and called it my theme. 
So some of the things in the course uh, that I've uh, been running into with uh, some of you is that some of the things are not exact as they are within the course. When you're going through the module, certain things um, may or may not be available. You may or may not see them. So I just wanted to make bring that point out since um, since we are dealing with a theme other than the default theme. Now, let's go back over here and we'll just kind of take these one at a time. I'm going to start over here with, uh, let me go to his home page, um, which is set up as his about page and we'll, we can go through and talk about that also. But let's go over here now and start at the beginning. So the first thing that we needed to do, that Tim wanted to get these titles centered, these widget titles. Now, um, some themes allow you to do that within the theme. And if we look at, I'm not familiar with this theme that he's using, but sometimes if you go over here, you'll see their theme options. And when you go into your theme options, uh, it should give you a lot of different things you can do. See, here it's showing us all the things that we can do with this particular theme. And on the home page, you get to put, looks like, some metadata in here and some content, uh, other URLs and everything. So there's nothing in there that I see right now when it comes to dealing with your uh, widget area titles. Typically, in most themes, it's just going to default to the left. Uh, so we want to center this. Now, what we're going to do, and this is in the course, and one thing I want to point out, too, is that everything that I'm going to do here is in one way or another explained within these 12 modules somewhere. Um, it's great you guys are getting in and learning and doing stuff, but if something's not exact, exact the way you want it, stop go back, review what you did, and figure out what it is that you're trying, uh, that you may have missed, and go back and do it. I took great pains to try to be very um, uh, slow and methodical in the training, and um, for the most part, it's really, it's really working off. But again, go slow, go back if you mix, miss something, and figure it out. Okay. So let's go ahead now and work with getting our titles uh, here in the widget area centered. Um, now, what we're going to be using to do this um, is Firebug. And again, go out and get Firebug. Uh, it's a great uh, tool that allows you to see the code and see exactly what you want to do in the code. Once you install it, you have to have Firefox. Once you install it, it's going to create a little icon. As you can see, here's mine. It's deactivated right now. It just puts a little, little icon up there. So this add-on plugin is great for Firefox when you want to go in and start, you know, tweaking things. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Once it's installed, you just click that, and it's going to come up here. So now we're going to look at the code, and I'm going to show you guys how... Um, you can use this for many, many things, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and work on getting this centered. So first thing we do is we go down here and over here to the right, you're going to see this little element here with the arrow. Click on that, and then that's going to give you the ability to, when you hover over, it's going to separate all the different divs and segments within your website here, as you can see. So when you want to change something or view the code on something, you just put this where you want it. And in this case, we want it right here because this is not the big area here, as you can see. We want to zero in on just this little tile area. So when we click that, you can see now it's showing us it's a widget and it's a title. Okay. Go over here to the right and you can see here it is. It's, uh, it's an H3. It's a header, H3. And if we look here, we can see the font size, the weight, the line, the margin, padding, everything. You can see right here, it's aligned to the left. If we just go in here and put center, you can see right away that this has changed. Okay. 
This is going to apply for information. Everything that's in the widget is now going to be, that's a widget title is going to be centered. All of these now are centered. But even though we've just done that, we've actually not actually made it complete. We've just uh, changed it for viewing purposes only. We have to actually go into the CSS code now and actually make this permanent. Okay, because if I refresh the page, as you can see, it just goes back to the left. Okay, so let's click on our element again. Let's go back to it. Let's click it. And now we know that this is what we want to change. So where exactly is it within our style sheet? Uh, what you want to do is grab this information here. Okay. This is telling you where, with the ID, this dot widget title is, is showing us the class of it. We're going to go ahead and just copy that because we're going to go in into this exact spot and change this. So once you have the area copied, because you know this is where it's going to be in the style sheet, you could do it by hand, but I just copy it. Let's go back over to our dashboard now. Okay. Pull this down and we're going to go over to our appearance themes and we're going to go down to editor okay now whenever you make changes within your style sheet or anything first thing I want you to do is right click and select all of this and then copy it and put it in a text file okay if you mess something up um, you want to be able to put it back so always always take all of this copy it and uh, so that you have it in case you mess something up so here we are make sure you're in your style sheet CS style.css and as you can see if you go down to the bottom this is where it's at click on it and you'll be in there so we want to find the area that we want to change now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up to edit and I'm just going to do find click on my find it opens up a box down here on the bottom uh, can't see it let me pull this down okay as you can see it opens up a find box here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go in here and I'm going to paste in that text that I just took and as you can see it takes us directly to it so here we are now we have the widget title home we see it's h3 and there it is text align left well all we have to do is just make that a center just change that to center okay let's update the file okay let's go back over to the site let's refresh the site and as you can see now we have got lessons is centered, information is centered, everything's centered. Okay, let me close this out. So that is basically how you would do that. Now again, you can you can go through many things and click and see exactly what's going on with it and do your change within Firebug and then go in to your style sheet and actually change it. Okay, so that should take care of that. Now, let's take a look at um, uh, our uh, why when we go to here. Let me go back up here. I need. I should have set this up differently, but let me go back up here real quick. And because we're going to go back up to his um, his home, his URL, his just his long. Uh, URL here and you can see it's coming up and it's saying hello world okay so we don't have anything when someone types in just his URL here and uh, why let's go back here to the dashboard and let's go back to settings and let's go back to reading okay now it's set up on latest posts it was set up on static I clicked that before and it went back and since there's nothing selected it's going it's just going to the last post but since he has his home page set up when you click on home to go to the about us page then that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to make it his front page 
his About Us page. Now, of course, okay, Tim, you can go back in here and change this if you want. Um, but for now, this is what we're going to do. Um, let's go back over here. Uh, we're going to go up here now, and we're going to go, let's go to a different page. Let's go to a contact page, for instance. He has a contact page here. And let's just go up here and back this off a little bit. And let's put that in. And now his .com goes to his About page. I'm going to stop this here because I'm going to be running long here. So let me stop this and then uh, pick it up in Part 2.